French police arrested a 20-year-old man and his girlfriend at a Disneyland theme park hotel today uh, after the man was found with two handguns, ammo, and a Quran inside his suitcase. This as demands for self-defense weapons have doubled in Germany following a large influx of refugees there. Uh, joining me now back, Jillian Melcher, Lieutenant Colonel Mitch Utter, uh, Utterback, and Steve Rogers, as well as Morgan Ortega. Steve, uh, you know, these, these are probably natural reactions with respect to the guns uh, and, you know, the demand for guns in Berlin. But how, how disturbing is it that uh, someone's found at a theme park like this with a gun and ammo and potentially setting up for another major attack? Well, what's more disturbing, Charles, is I understand that the uh, French police have already ruled out a terrorism connection. I find that incredible. Knowing the amount of work, investigative uh, work that goes into uh, things like this uh, would lead one to believe that they're going to leave the door open for that. So I'm sure you're going to see Interpol involved, the FBI, military intelligence, and other sources, intelligence sources involved. Well, in Cologne, they uh, initially rolled out the New Year's Eve thing. They said, hell no, that was an immigrant. That was just a... And, of course, the police, uh, the police chief lost his job. The mayor, a woman, by the way, who looked really ridiculous, telling women maybe it was your behavior is suggesting that. So, to your point, Steve, I think it's ludicrous that they would rule this out so quickly. It's political correctness gone mad. And listen, this, is, this has been festering in Europe for a long time. In 2008, when I was at the Treasury Department, I was covering and watching these guys in Europe, and I knew that this was eventually going, going to bite them in the you-know-what. And it really has. It's, it's really pathetic immigration policies, uh, the lack of any sort of integration into European society. Um, as, it's, it came home to roost here. I mean, this stuff has not been going on. Uh, this, excuse me, it has been going on for a long time. I'm not surprised by it. Now but being political Correct is not going to solve We're it. We're seeing worst silly. case scenarios. Being politically correct, let it fester. And, and, and of course, if you're not going to be honest about this, forget about the political fallout. You're putting people at, at risk here. But, Jillian, Disneyland uh, Paris in 2014 had 10 million visitors. Mm -hmm. We've been talking lately about soft targets. This is one. This is an amazing soft target, one of the most visited places in the whole continent. And it's insane to know how they caught this guy. It was just he was going through security and he managed to tip him off. They found it kind of by a fluke. This isn't somebody who is on the radar of French intelligence. And that's one thing that I'm going to be looking at in the coming days. You know, was this guy active on social media? Had he left France and gone to Syria or the Middle East somewhere? I think we're seeing this, this guy as a French national. Um, there are a lot of questions about him right now. With the, the German gun thing, though, they can't even buy guns. I mean, these are permits that they're putting in for tasers, for guns that shoot tear gas. It's the most right. European thing ever. Right. And I think you do see the, the people feeling not safe because there are 300 applications in for them just in the last month. If you look at the entire year last year, 408. But and Jillian makes a great point that it's a French citizen. This isn't an asylum right. seeker. This isn't someone new to Paris. Europe has a problem with homegrown terrorism, with people with European passports that can go through the continent as they will. Well, you know what, and speaking of seeing this coming, this is, a, a, you know, being an economic show too, this goes back to, to a low birth rate, uh, socialist tendencies and economic policies. That's a hell of a one-two combination because you've got no one in the pipeline, so uh, you all, they're almost in a, in a position where they must take in people. They must take them in and, and, and in order to try to keep their economies alive, and it's barely working because they're not taking in a whole lot of skilled people. And here's the thing, in Paris, a lot of folks don't realize the state of emergency is still in place, Mitch. Right now, though, Holan is, is fighting tooth and nail to get it extended another three months because there's a lot of opposition against it. You wonder, particularly after this news, why? Why would there be opposition against keeping this thing in place at least another three months? People want to go back to having it just the way it was. They're uncomfortable with the current state of emergency. Thank God they've got a president who wants to take the fight to the enemy and talks like a warrior. France has an, a president that talks like a warrior. And I want to go back to this the Disney thing. Disney is one of the most prominent Western targets in France. To me, this was a, an operative recruited potentially on social media, highly compartmentalized, just asked, hey, carry a small handgun, some 32 caliber ammo, see what happens. ISIS or whoever it is is now tracking the media response, including us, to take Disney off the list. Sorry, the security is too tough right there. Well, let's continue to our targeting at other softer targets. But what if, what if they, well, with the response being that it wasn't terrorism, maybe it will embolden them to go through with an actual attack. You're saying this was akin to a dry run. Well, well the colonel brings up a very good point, Charles. 
just because it may be a failed terrorist attack doesn't mean it failed. These individuals go out there to test our response, right, Carl? Yeah. They're looking at how we're we responding, what type of weapons are we right. going to respond with, etc. So we have to be real cognizant of the fact that they're out there, they're reconning, and there's going to be an operation executed. All right, somewhere. guys, let's leave it right there.